This cheat day was nicely planned and nicely executed as well. So how does it feel when you start fitting into S size of t-shirts or shorts? You don't trust me, right? Let me show it to you. You see that? S. S size. S stands for what? Small. So you got my attention, right? So I lost like 9 kilos in a month. That's pretty huge. But this video is not about how it was done. It's going to be all together a separate video. Today is what? April 21st, Sunday and I so waited for this day. Today is my cheat day. From March 21st till April 21, it's 30 days. I was on a 30 days challenge. Now I'm on to a 60 days challenge. It's going to be another video, more details about it later. So since March 21st, I had my goal of getting that extra weight down and getting that fat percentage down. I'm already down by nine kilos. That's pretty nice. And since that day, since March 21st, I guess 30 days, it's already been. I did not even had a single cheat day. Not a single day I had bad food. Nice, neat, clean food. It was nice experience. 30 days challenge is done. I will do another video talking about it in more details. So it's my cheat day, so I need to go ahead and have my food. This day was already planned a month back. I already had planned what I'm going to eat on this cheat day. So let me just show it to you what all I had today in this whole day. It was a nice good food day, cheat day. So we started the day somewhere around 5.30 a.m. I rode to Puri Holiday Resort with my friend. We had the grand onion masala dosa. It was nice. It was cheap as well. It was just 200 bucks for two persons and the calorie and macro count for the dosa was this. And then on our way back to Bhuneshwar, we stopped by Nodia Pani showroom. Yeah, it's a showroom. We call it showroom always. I had one of it and the calorie and macro count for the Nodia Pani was this. And then I reached home by 12 p.m. I guess we had a grand lunch. My wife waited for this day since 30 days, I guess. We have you have to see my lunch plate first. It had a lot of white rice, moong dal, chicken tarkari, salad, a lot of pampado, alu harta, everything what I like and what I always used to have maybe in every two or three days. But this time it was not there in my platter since 30 days. So lunch was kind of grand. And here is the calories and macro count for the whole lunch. And then in the evening, we went for the sweets. Sweet, sweet, sweets. It's a weak zone for me. I mean, I can do anything for sweets. Jilapi, Borfi, Lodu, Rasgulla, Gulab Jamun, Chenna Podo. I can absolutely kill a person to have all this. But for last 30 days, did not have a single of it. So I really waited for the sweets, went to the sweet showroom, had a lot of sweets order, baked Rasgulla, Gulab Jamun, uh, Kalakan, Mm, Borpi, no, no, it was, I forgot the name actually, it's been 30 days, but yeah, it was nice, it was lovely. And for the calories and macro count for the whole sweet session was this. And then we went for the momos, we had fried momos, we had the butter chicken momos from the Wow Momos store. It was nice having the full momos after like 30 days because normally during the keto days, I do not get to eat those outer cover of the momos which is really delightful I guess. But yeah, after 30 days having the full momos it was really nice and for the total calorie and macro count for the momos was this. And then we headed back to home for the dinner. I again had dosa which my wife had prepared as usual because without the dosa she would have not let me sleep or work. So I had to have the dosa in the dinner. So the macros and calorie count for the dosa is this. So for the whole cheat day, I had a lot of good food. It was planned and executed nicely. The total calories and macro count is this. So you can see the carbs is more than like 150 grams. That is like having the food, 10 days food in just one day. I know that's fine, but 
once a cheat day, even if you are in dieting or doing any kind of diet, at least one cheat day every week is completely fine. But I wanted to take it more ahead and just keep it more minimal. So I normally am planning to do one cheat day in a month. That is what we stick to and it's going to work, I guess. So that is the reason I guess I've lost almost like eight or nine kilos in a month because there was not a single cheat day. So first cheat day after a month, because normally I always consume like less than 25 or 20, 20, 25 grams of carbs in a day during the keto diet. So that's all about the whole day, whole cheat day. Lot of good food, nice food, I mean, yeah. Lot of mitas, lot of momos, lot of bhatto, dali, chicken, all of that short, aduharta. So I'm just, just gonna wait for May 20 now because May 21st I'm leaving for Dolomite. So May 20 is going to the second cheat day. I already have the food planned for the second cheat day. Again, it's going to be nice. But yeah, just wait for the video where I'm going to speak about all the details like how I lost all those eight, nine kilos. It was nice, but it was tough. You have to do a lot of sacrifice. Anyways, wait for the video. Let me know if you have got any questions. I will see you in my next video.